Hello, this is Evangelist Dr. Robert L. McKim Sr. Someone had mentioned to me on my last video that I had did preaching the truth of the rapture and when it will happen. Well, they had said where I had mentioned at 15 minutes into my video that the great tribulation will occur after Jesus comes back to the earth and sets up his kingdom. And I will play this real quick. Jesus comes back to the earth and sets up his kingdom. Now, to clarify what I had said can be found in Revelations 20. I'm sure maybe all you know what Revelations 20 is about is the uh, when Satan is bound for a thousand years during that time basically Jesus sets up his kingdom on earth and the saints will be basically judging the nations with Jesus Christ. It says so right here that angel came down from heaven having the key to the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. He laid hold of the dragon, that serpent of old who is the devil and Satan and bound him for a thousand years cast him into the bottomless pit and shut him up and also uh, it goes on says that the saints were reigned with Jesus Christ for a thousand years we uh, um, will be basically judging the nations with Jesus Christ then after that, you see, a lot of people keep saying that the battle of Gog and Magog is supposed to occur before Jesus comes back to earth. Well, no, that isn't what Revelation 20 says. Because after the thousand year reign of Jesus Christ and the saints, now when the thousand years have expired, Fired, Satan will be released from his prison and he will go out and deceive the nations which are in the four corners of the earth Gog and Magog to gather them together to battle when does this occur? after the thousand years reign of Jesus Christ and the saints the battle of Gog and Magog is supposed to happen after, after the thousand year reign, not before. And then, what else goes on here? Well, it says right here, And a fire came down from God out of heaven and destroyed them. The devil who deceived them was cast into a the lake of fire and brimstone where the beast and the false prophet are and they will be tormented day and night forever and forever. That is the great tribulation or the great wrath of God. When the fire comes down and consumes them. And puts the devil where he belongs. Now some of you will probably say, Oh no, we, the great tribulation is supposed to happen before Jesus returns. No, it's not. Read the Bible and understand. Even in the original Greek it says it. See, a lot of people don't really understand the Bible. And they think they do and they don't. They think that we're supposed to 
be out of here before anything happens. Look what happened in Paris last night. I guess you can't uh, understand God's word because you don't want to understand God's word. The rapture is supposed to take place three and a half years or 42 months after, after when the man of sin is revealed. The man of sin is revealed and he makes war against the saints for 42 months. It's in Revelations as well. But see, a lot of preachers keep preaching we're going to be out of here before anything happens and we're not going to be around for the battle of Gog and Magog and all that. That isn't what the Bible says. That's what they're lying to you, says. But yet they rattle off all these scriptures. But if you was to study and to show yourself approved, you would really understand. I'm not making this up. Who would want to make this up? The Bible speaks for itself. All you got to do is understand God and understand God's Word. Well, listen, I don't want to be on here too long because um, Renee's not feeling well and I got to keep an eye on her and I'm hurting. I'm in pain. With my neuropathy in my feet and my lower legs. I'm also been having a lot of sinus issues. Renee, she's been having a lot of sinus issues and coughing and besides our health issues. We're having I'm having vehicle issues. And again, probably until somebody can wake up and help me to get my van fixed and to get the sticker. I, I only have $29 left to my name. The license sticker for my vehicle is $44.80. I need another $15 to get the sticker. And I need 20 some dollars, around $26 for back brake shoes and possibly I will need drums too and those are 30 some dollars a piece I don't have it and I'm not letting my bills go and rob Peter to pay Paul or put mud on the back of my license plate like some Christians think I should do or give up the shows that I enjoy like some Christians think I should do God, I'm not giving up the truth just to suit them. I like watching Jim Baker and I like watching some other shows that you cannot get on an antenna. And I wouldn't be able to put up an antenna high enough here where I live at to get enough channels. You know, I, I'm not doing, I'm not stooping low way they think I should stoop. I'm not going to take several steps back in my life after taking all the steps forward I had took just because I'm having problems with my health and uh, other things. They say, well, you make choices, the wrong choices. What choices am I making wrong in my life? The truth the truth is supposed to set you free. I'm free. I don't have my head in the sand like a lot of other Christians do. And preachers. And supposedly doctors of uh, religion. Has left 
you know, if you want to believe what they had to teach you, go ahead and, you know, believe a lie. Or you can listen to what I'm saying, and that's the truth. Because God, Jesus sent me back to teach and preach the truth. And what I know, what I have experienced, no one can take that away from me, and no one can say it wasn't real. That never happened. It did happen. It's real. It was real to me, and it will be real until the day I die, and I'm with Jesus Christ, my Lord and Savior. <laughs> well, anyhow, I got to get off here. I don't want to take up too much of your time. I rattled off uh, enough as it is. What I like to know is where are the true ch Christians? Where are the true believers of God? Where are the true believers of, and followers of Jesus Christ? Those people who believe in the truth seems like I'm far and few between. Well, I got to go out here and get some other things done here. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. No one goes to the Father but by and only through Him. All you have to do is to ask Jesus Christ into your heart and ask Him to forgive you of all your sins. He will, he, he, he'll do it. No strings attached except for the fact that He wants you to change your life. To turn away from your sins. But uh, a lot of people think, well, I'm saved by grace and grace gives me the license to do what I want, you know, what I normally would do all the time. That isn't what grace is. But, you know, that's an, another uh, sermon. God bless you. Have a blessed day.